and it is certainly feeling very good. Thanks very much for that update, Uncle Tabsy. Now, it's maybe very easy for us to swap out a warm jacket for a cool summer hat, but for our little dogs out there, it is not as easy. A lot more involved, in fact. Now, with as many kinds of coats as there are breeds, some suited for the heat, some not, a spring-summer grooming session with Malton's grooming products is an ideal opportunity to take a broad view of grooming, and we find out how to keep our hounds brushed, washed, and clipped for their comfort, and of course, our convenience. Oh, just like their personalities. Um, long hair, curly, short hair. Pups have very different hair types, which means when it comes to grooming, they have very specific needs. So I've come out for a bit of an education, a, a grooming day out, if you will, and I brought my two very short-legged short hairs out for some grooming as well to spend some time with some other cool pups, so it's going to be quite social as well. Time for an education, guys. No one has more facts and skills at their fingertips than Jackie van Dijk. Why is it so important to groom your dogs? The main reason is to make sure that you have a healthy coat and it also prevents a buildup of oils and loose hair. So good maintaining with de-shedding and a good wash once a month is very good for them. Can you take us through the different grooming techniques for the different hair types? Your short hair dogs, like for example sausage dogs, they've got more of a, a finer hair so you'd use your de-shedder more often. It releases all the loose hair out. Your more softer coats like your Maltesers and for example Bouviers, they've got more of a fine softer hair so you've got to kind of brush it out more evenly. So you would use a slicker brush, you'd use a rake and um, you use your comb to kind of demat the knots and get it out easily. But it's, it's a kind of a process because you have different brushes for different dogs. So my two pups are Leo and Lola. Leo was the original. Um, he's now four years old. Lola is two years old. They are both miniature Dutchians. I have such a close bond with both of them. They're very sweet and unbelievably loyal. They both groom themselves really well, so this will be the first time that either one of them is getting this level of grooming, so I'm quite keen to see how they respond to it. I'm using a puppy shampoo here, which is nice and soft. And we're lathering it nicely all around his body. In between his pads as well, very important. Clean them nicely. Down his little face, around his eyes, not too close. And then you rinse it off. Make sure you rinse it properly. Try and dry the ears so you don't have any water that could have been a bit damp that didn't go down in the ears. Hey, wrap you up and you're ready to roll. So here we got Leo. He's still damp from his wash, so we're going to give him a nice blow dry so he's nice and dry. I'm using a normal hair dryer. And we want to make sure he's completely dry. A hugely popular breed, Labbies also pack a lot of hair and brushing is key. Hi there guys, this is Maddie. She is a black Labrador and I'm going to do a demonstration on de-shedding. The reason why we de-shed is to make sure that we don't have a build-up of extra hair and a build-up on her coat. Rather do a de-shedding as often as you can. Try and do it at least once or twice a week, which will make sure that she has a nice air-flowing coat and it's a healthy coat. It brings out the shine and she'll be a much healthier, happy animal, knowing that she doesn't have extra mats and she hasn't got a build-up of a thick coat. So you'd like to get a good brush all the way around. Don't dig too deep. Try and do upwards and downwards. The process of doing this is so that you don't have all this loose hair falling around in your house, which makes a lot easier on your cleaning process of keeping your house clean. With our summer temperatures way above where many breeds come from, it's kind to clip. This is Mufasa, and he is a Bouvier. He's got a very, very thick coat, as you can see. It's a very fine and very coarse in some areas. So with this kind of breed, you would need to groom on a regular basis so that you don't get mats. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna demonstrate a spring cut, which is gonna give about a two and a half centimeter length of hair all the way around, which is gonna help with the cut, still keep some warm. I'm using a three and three quarter blade and it's an industrial clipper, which is the kind of best one to use as an Andes. And that's what we use for dog grooming. The reason why we keep the hair around the eyes is to protect their eyes. 
because their eyes are very sensitive to the sun. The experience today has been really cool. I think the team from Just Groomer, Jackie, were fantastic with both Leo and Lola, kind of read their personalities, how far they could push the grooming session. I think Leo especially enjoyed the pampering. He's come out looking fantastic and giving him a, a good groom in that sense is gonna help his skin. And I know Lola's nails, it's a fine line. I'm terrified to cut her nails, so I know a, a, a qualified groomer has to do it, and I thought they handled that part of the process incredibly well. So chuffed that I, I was able to get put myself and the pups through this experience. And the dogs, I think they're pretty chuffed as well. <laughs> Good girl. There we go. Oh, happy. Like a new lady, huh? Well, Leo, I think, has really loved his spa day. He looks, he feels. He smells amazing, Lola. She had her nails did. Hey, looking gorgeous girl. I think they both really enjoyed a little bit of pampering and it's worth, I think, taking the advice we've been given today. Pamper, spoil your pups at least once a month. Have a little bit of fun with them and I think they both really now love the fact that they're gonna get extra cuddles tonight. Good dog.